Maybe. In other news, welcome back to Fret Plus. We're here. We're better than ever. That's right. It's exciting. That's right. You're Jonathan. I'm Jonathan. That's right. You're Sean. With a bobcat. <laughs> With a bobcat. Uh, what's the little comedian who's, who's like a bob... What, isn't that some guy's name? Some guy named the bobcat? Is that it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Bobby it doesn't bobcat. matter. That's not why we're here. Uh, so wait, this is, what is this, our third... Third episode. ...episode of the Fret Buzz since we've brought it back. Um, we got a channel that I watch a lot today. Sure. But I realized, I, I think I think in my brain he was bigger mm-hmm. than he is, like like his channel. Well, who do you have? This is a... Justin Ostrander. I always get, oh. sometimes I say Olander, but that's not him. I think that's another guitar player. But this is Justin Ostrander. <laughs> and that that is actually, um, that's the channel, Justin Ostrander. Um, it's, I think it says on the session, if you go to his little homepage on his, on his channel. Um, so he is a session player in Nashville. Mm-hmm. He plays on songs. He's a fantastic player. Um, but his whole thing is sort of that he plays, I mean, obviously this is all session players, but, you know, really focused on playing the right parts for things. Yeah. Um, not getting into so much flashy stuff, but just making the song yeah. sound awesome. Um, well, super cool. So kind of like an Uncle Larry-esque guy, but a little I, bit different. I like, feel like this would, his channel to me feels like this is what it would have been like if we got Uncle Larry 30 years ago, you know, 20 years ago. Like, like you know what I mean, with, where he's yeah. he's doing, you know, cool yeah. stuff and he's doing big stuff. Yeah. But he's not quite Uncle Larry yet. Yeah, that's He's cool. working into being Uncle Larry. Like cutting his teeth in a way, but definitely not inexperienced by any means. Yeah, no, definitely not experienced. Um, but you get to see a lot of this stuff is from his home studio, mm-hmm. which I think a lot of sessions these days have moved. My my limited glimpse into that world seems like people are sending you stuff, you work on it. So, yeah. and what's cool is because he's working that way, um, in a lot of the videos we get to see sort of w- what he's doing, mm-hmm. why he's doing it. You get some cool inside glimpses into, oh, the producer said this, or the producer, you know what I mean? So, so really, really yeah. cool stuff. Um, you know, why, when he gives revisions, what he actually sends them back. Yeah. All that kind of stuff. That's um, super cool. Well, I, I'll put out there too, I've actually never watched any of his stuff. We were talking about it today. We kind of wanted to do something a little bit different here where we kind of chat on it and you kind of inform me and I'll ask questions while we go through it because this this is definitely up my alley of guys that I watch. Like, like I love Tom Bukovac. I love uh, some of those other guys within that realm who focus mainly, like that's why I love Rick Beato is it's more studio based, but then this is granular down to the guitar level, which is great. Well, the other two episodes we sort of picked out, we said, oh, there's like these categories of this person's videos. And, yeah. and I didn't do it exactly the same way because there are a lot of categories of the Justin Ostrander videos. So you'd really dig, there's there's a couple where like, you know, he's talking about his home recording setup. Yeah. There's one where he says, hey, don't spend money on recording gear, you can, you can do this. Like tips about how to do it without going crazy and get good results. There's one where he spends, he get, takes you down to his basement and he's basically got one cab down there yeah. and how he mics it and why he mics it that way. Yeah. So you can you can see that. He talks through like his switching system, different amps, okay. why he has this amp, you know what I mean? Like really, really kind of deep dives. Hey, I've got this for high gain stuff. I've got this for the clean Sick. stuff. You know what I mean? And that, I, I think you would dig that. Yeah, absolutely. Right? Well, especially because, yeah. you know, it's that's one of those things on the recording and I feel like, and you can probably equate to this more, especially the time that this would have been taking place being in Nashville, like 10 years ago, it seems like people tried to make their, like there was more mystery behind that. And it's like, you're not supposed to share the tone secrets and you're not supposed to let people know how to get that sound. It's nice that there's guys like this who are like, here's exactly how you get that sound or what I think I need to use in these situations. Well, it's kind of neat. Like, I feel like 10, 15 years ago, even if you wanted to share it, how'd you, how do you, you share it? Hey, hey pal. Let me tell how, how you're making your cab. Let me tell you, you know what I mean now, but then you can put it on YouTube and you can sort of help all these folks who are, who are interested. Yeah. Plus, you know, I mean, there's all sorts of recording things. You used to have to have a giant studio. Now everybody's got Pro Tools on their computer or Logic or, you know, Reaper or whatever. Yeah. Um, so there's that stuff on his channel. Yeah. But there's a lot of sort of like um, philosophical, like there's one not too long ago, musicians stop questioning everything you do. Which is a great title because how often do you think? 
I suck. Oh my God. We talked about this just a couple months ago where you get so in your head and really all you probably need to do is do something a little bit different. And it's cool. It's that's something to be shared, you know, because that's just a conversation in private that you and I had randomly on a day to where this is something like if I would have seen that video, had had I not worked at a guitar shop with some of my best friends being able to talk about these things, I probably would have seen a video like this and I would have been like, oh, okay, it's a me thing. It's all up here. Well, he did one not long ago in that same vein, um, and I think Baxter and I even talked about this, yeah. about imposter syndrome. Mm-hmm. And like, I don't care who you are, how good you are, I-, I think. Maybe there's some psychopath out there who just thinks they're amazing. You know, actually, I know most of those people that I know actually do suck, but... <laughs> I'm great. I think most normal people, you know, you get in these situations where it's like a gig or maybe a session yeah. and you think, God, these people are going to find out that I, I'm the weakest link. I should not be here. God, God, God. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, And he talks about that. And I think it's nice to hear a guy like that who's making a living yeah. as a session player. Definitely. Talk about those things. Heck yeah. He also, I, you know, I like in his videos, and Uncle Larry's kind of like this, right? Like, obviously he practices a lot and is up to a certain level, but he doesn't speak down to everybody as if everyone's trying to be a session dude. It's yeah. just like, hey, if you're trying to make a living doing this, here's what you need to think about. If you're just having fun, here's things yeah. that will help you. And I kind of It's cool. That. There's like a humility to that, which I, I always enjoy, especially like with the Uncle Larry stuff in the same way. <laughs> I mean, he's got one. I'm just, and I, cause I'm just kind of scrolling through his videos. He's got one called Overdub Sessions, Bonehead Things I've Done in My Career. I mean, like that's, to me, that's ridiculously interesting, right? That's awesome. Um, it's fun. Like I know from watching his videos, he used to be a math teacher. Like, literally went to college and majored in math, That's which funny. made me hate him a little bit. And then, it's like, what kind of psychopath are you? But, he's like, you know, well, I decided, told my wife, hey, we got to go out to Nashville. I got to try I'm it. I'm doing it. That's awesome, though. That's cool. That is super that's, cool. That's really, really cool. Um, kind of like, I know, I, I hate that we're comparing so much to Uncle Larry to, to Tom Bukovac, but it's just, you know, obviously, they're in very similar spheres. Oh, yeah. But, like, here's one where he's like uh, Dan Huff's favorite Acoustic at Black Bear Studios. Yeah. So so there's some on location stuff, right? Yeah. Some little kind of field trippy sort of things. Um, th- th- there's just all sorts of fun things that go in between those. What gear to use? Record in a studio, you know, like recording a part in a studio, recording parts at home. How do you mic your amps? Guitar but playing stuff, all the goods. There's also some pretty fun, like, viewer interaction. Yeah. And there's a couple times where guys have sent in songs. Mm-hmm. And he goes through and sort of uh, very positively critiques Yes, what's happening. I follow guys on Instagram who do that. You know? So it's cool to see somebody who goes out and do, you know, doing a whole in-depth YouTube video. It takes a little bit more time than just 60-second clip of you dissecting something, you know? That's pretty cool. Well, you know, you and I have talked about, we since I've known you, you've been into yeah. producing, you know, recording things. Yeah. We, Sean and I have recorded... A fair amount of things together, mm-hmm. and we're about to do a lot more. We're talking about doing a lot more. Yeah. It's changed for us just talking about it and thinking about it. Obviously, I'm older than you, so I've been thinking yeah. about it longer. Yeah. But even me, like it changes a, a ton how we think about it, right? Um, so it's fun to watch him take a song from a viewer that actually was pretty good to start with, yeah. and do little things, and it took it from like this okay song that you hear that like your pal did in his garage to like wow, yeah, minimal changes. Well, that sounds like a, yeah. a real song. Lifts though. the whole like, thing up. Um, yeah. So there's that kind of stuff, too. Obviously, there's gear stuff. I bought the, I, I said that we're comparing Uncle Larry. Here's one. I bought this 1969 Gibson Les Paul Custom from Tom Bukovac. So, what? you know, they're pals. They know each other? They're pals. This is perfect. Um, I feel like we're pals with Uncle Larry because he commented on our video. I know. I'm like... He basically said he loved us, and if we ever need anything... Yes. Dude. We're, we're if you're watching that, I know he doesn't watch our channel, I but know. but um, if he if he ever if he were, did if he ever catches this clip, we're just we, holding we're know. just holding holding it till the right day. Call that favor in. <laughs> I don't know what it would be. If Tom, be like, Tommy, Tommy boy, we're here. We're I need you to show. make me as good as you on guitar. I suck, <laughs> dude. <laughs> make me great. Make me even just a quarter of that good. I'm ready. <laughs> so anyway, I mean, you know, there's a there's like a couple cool slide lessons. There's tone tips. There's all sort of stuff on his channel. I just find it to be very genuine. Yeah. I find it to all be very helpful from like a guy who obviously knows. I mean, you're never ever going to agree with any, like a thousand percent on any channel. I mean, you're, if you do, that's kind of odd, but yeah. may, maybe. Um, but he just seems like a super genuine 
super cool dude. I think his motivation is really cool for having a channel where you can talk to people yeah. um, and sort of share his experiences. Uh, so if you haven't checked him out, Sweet. please go and do so. We will put a link uh, with his channel and some of my favorite videos. They won't be Sean's because Sean's never watched them. I Maybe have. he'll watch them too. I definitely will now because now <laughs> um, I'm like mega intrigued. You're this intrigued, guy right? sounds awesome, you know? So it's good. This is yeah. kind of like an old, an old, older... Um, Fret Buzz, where this this is sort of a channel that maybe you haven't heard of. Yeah. Because I feel like sometimes it's impossible to find channels that everyone's not heard of. But this maybe this is one, and and if if you haven't heard of this guy, you definitely need to be watching yes. Justin Ostrander. And once again, as we said in the last couple, if there are any channels out there that you know of that are smaller, because we've been searching for them and kind of looking to find them and stuff, and you yep. brought this one up today whenever we went to talk about Fret Buzz, you know, so. Let us know in the comments if there's anybody that you want to spotlight because we are searching, but things miss our radar too. Oh, like for we, sure. You know, and we love bringing stuff like that to Put the Put them in the comments. Shoot us a message too because we yes. Email, often, anything. often ignore the comments. <laughs> yes, we don't <laughs> pay true. attention. Um, because some of them are mean. So hateful. <laughs> and who's got time for that? I know. Um, so anyways, okay. there you go. Check it out. As always, thanks for hanging out with us. Also, quick, quick extra we i think we're going to do some gear versions of fret buzz coming up too so some some different things coming up on on fret buzz so we'll see what it works settle into something fun obviously we'll give you guys a voice in that as well but anyways hit like and subscribe hit the bell we'll see you next time